Hey, and welcome back to Wrench. On this episode, we are going to unbox the Eastwood Lead Body Solder Kit. Hey there, welcome to Wrench. If this is your first time here, I'm Michael. That car behind me is what I affectionately call the blasphemy build. This was a 1969 Porsche 911 S that was a wide body GT2 race car that I'm converting back into a street car powered by a twin turbo Subaru EZ30R flat six. Now, building this car, I've had to essentially recreate the stock body shape. It had no rear quarter panels. It had no rear section. So I've had to replace all of that stuff. So back in the day in 1969, Porsche used lead filler to fill in the gaps and smooth out the body because obviously something like Bondo or any sort of other plastic filler didn't exist yet. So I thought because lead filler is such a lost art and what I try to do on this particular channel is, you know, teach people vicariously through my trials and tribulations that I would give a shot at lead filling the body panels on this car. I've also shaved the drip rails and generally when you shave the drip rails, you wanna replace it with lead filler. Now lead filler has a lot of positive attributes compared to its plastic cousin. One of which is the old school guys will tell you it's more structural than the plastic filler. Now will it replace welded steel? No, but the bond between steel and lead is generally better than the bond between plastic and steel. Another positive attribute is that it's not porous like plastic filler, meaning as soon as you smooth the lead filler out, you can prime and paint over it right away. It's not as absorbent. Plastic filler is kind of like a sponge, so it sucks up the primer and you have to seal it before you paint over it. Whereas with lead filler, it pretty much looks structural and you can prime right over the top. So I'm excited to learn. I also think that it's a lost art. I think it's uh, one of the things that once it's gone, once some of these old school hot rodder guys go, uh, we're not gonna have it anymore. So I wanna learn how to do it. So I reached out to my friends at Eastwood and they said, why don't you check out one of our body solder kits? And so they sent one over. So thank you to Eastwood for that. If you guys don't know what Eastwood is, imagine you're the ultimate DIYer in your garage Eastwood makes pretty much everything you can think of regarding the paint prep body workshop. Literally everything you can think of from all the paint supplies to welders, to tools, to you name it. It's all there at eastwood.com. So thank you to them for sending this thing over. And I thought I would just wait to open it to show you guys what it was all about. Um, it's first of all heavy, unsurprisingly it's lead. Uh, so let's crack the thing open and see what it looks like on the inside, shall we? All right. So first and foremost, here's a, oh wow, this is crazy. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this is killer. Wow. All right, Eastwood. I see you. This is crazy. All right. Check this out, this is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna move this over. There's a lot more stuff in here than I thought there was gonna be. First and foremost, a um, Eastwood lead work and plastic fillers DVD. So, how to. That's one thing about Eastwood, is that they, they're not one of those companies that just like makes tools and makes supplies and there you go. They have a killer YouTube channel. They have a killer Instagram account. They get a lot of world renowned experts on the channel to pass along this info for us, us guys that are just in a garage trying to work on a cool car and pass along this information that's probably handed down to them. So it's a really master and apprentice kind of vibe on their entire YouTube channel. So definitely check them out at Eastwood. I'm really blown away by how much stuff there is in here. So we've got a few brushes. Here's what we've got that's really crazy. Paddle after paddle after paddle after paddle after panel. So, I don't know if they did this just for me or if this is how this thing comes, but there is a ton. So basically what you do is you, when you're working the lead with, you've got your, your torch, um, you heat the lead up and then you smear it, almost like butter onto the panel. And that's what these wooden, 
little spreaders are for. So that's cool. Um, we have a lot of lead. We've got a, a body file. Like, oh man, this is so cool. Look at this killer body file. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Come on, focus on me. Focus on the file. There it is. Look at that. So a couple of those, and they have this one's uh, this one's convex, and this one's concave. So you have two different options, or maybe this one's dead flat. This could be dead flat. All right, this one's dead flat. This one is convex. Awesome. So I think this is the wax. I want to say it's like some kind of honey wax. I could be wrong on that, but. Um, I know you dip your paddle in, and when you're spreading the lead, it, the lead won't stick to your, your wooden paddle. And I'm just seeing now, these are all different as well. So let's see, flat, 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 curve. So I've got two curved and four flats. I don't know what to use them for yet, but we will get there once I watch that DVD. And then I have, again, curved and flat. This is so cool. And these, these have screws in them, and I don't know why yet, but we'll have to learn that. Okay, good. And finally, all the things. This is a load ugh, of lead rods. Look at that. That is a lot of rods. And these are 70-30. I want to say that's lead versus tin. I could be wrong on that as well. But they even say Eastwood 7030 on them. Um, you can obviously bend them. It's lead. It's not very, uh, not very strong in that way. So this is all the lead stuff. I'm not sure if they made me a little bespoke kit. I'll have to clarify that with them. But I feel like I have every tool I need now to give this thing a go. Oh, I forgot about the tinning butter. This is the other part that's really important. And what you do with the tinning butter is you put it on the bare metal before you lead. So I've seen people put it on with brushes. I've seen people put it on with their fingers. I've seen people put it on with steel wool. You spread it on and then you heat it with your torch until it turns brown and then you wipe it off. And once it's wiped off, that metal is super clean and ready for lead. So all the prep you can do, you know, wiping it down with acetone, that kind of thing. Uh, then the tinning butter and then you're ready to lead. So in another video, I'm actually going to attempt to use some of this stuff. And if I do it well enough, then I feel like I'm going to be ready to get it on the car. So I think I'm about ready to give this stuff a shot. Stay tuned on this very channel in the Blasphemy Build series of me attempting to learn and use this lead filler. And thank you again to Eastwood for sending this stuff over. You guys, please go check out eastwood.com or Eastwood on YouTube. They certainly know how to make a presentation. I'm excited for all these things and I'm excited to get some new tools for the workshop and I will see you next time.